welcome to the tutorial of external cache disk what is an external cache disk it is a wonderful tool to be used in sap to record real time payment now what is real time payment the payment can be of two types one is real time payment and the other one can be batch payment for real time payment whenever a payment is made right away the payment appears in sap that is called real time payment and for batch payment it is like suppose we make payment throughout the day and say at 6 pm all the payments are collected and the payments are posted at 6 pm so whenever suppose a customer makes a payment at 10 am that payment reflects in sap at 6 pm so that is called batch payment a lot of client comes to us and ask us to configure or develop a real time payment so you can use external cache disk so let me go to the dashboard of external cache disk that t code is fkk ex c underscore m o n i so this money stands for monitor so how we have designed our system so we have kept a couple of branches the first branch is called 16 and the second branch is called 17 under each branch we have three cache disk web ivr schedule similarly web ivr schedule now web is represented by 01 ivr 02 and schedule is 03 so i'm going to post a payment for the branch 16 and under the cache disk ivr that is cache disk 02 so for that we need to go to the s proxy now standard sap provides us a couple of web services or api via which we can automate the real time payments so i have put those uh, web services under my favorites so the first one is called cash point payment create notification underscore in i am going to put this web service name in the description below don't worry so just double click on this web service and click on execute execute once again then a couple of pop ups will come you need to close it now this is the payload of the web service so let me pick up i created a variant let me pick up my variant so this is my variant now i'll click on xml editor we have enhanced this standard web service as per our client requirement so what we going to do we are going to post a payment Uh, for the date of 6th june 2022 so we need to enter the date right here so basically once the program is completely developed in production the web service calls will be receiving from external sites so currently since i am testing i am just putting it manually now this is my time when we are going to receive the payment now here we need to enter the this cash disk so my cash disk is ivr let me put in ivr here So we need to enter the uh, branch my branch is 16 so i'll keep it 16 next this is the payment group reference id so i'm going to keep it same as the date id that is 2020206060 next we need to enter the payment transaction id so for each transaction there has to be a unique payment transaction id i am just keeping the date 2022060601 so this is my first payment of 6 june so i'm entering as uh, 00 adding this 001 next to the date then suppose my payment is of 42.70 same amount i need to change over here 70 now i need to enter the contract account against which i am going to make the payment suppose i am going to pick up this contract account so couple of fields where i need to uh, populate the contract account so this is the first one uh, sorry this is the first one pay our contract account id and the second one is right here and this is a field for fees whenever we receive any payment our third party can charge a fee so i'm just putting 1.60 so this fee we are using for reporting purpose there is no just for a display purpose information purpose it is it is not going to hit any gl account so once you enter all the fields the payload is ready we can click on f8 if there is an error we'll get an error message so it says successful without empty result now i need to commit it so go to extras and click on trigger commit work so see the commit is successful now there is a couple of table for external cache disk so let me open one of the table the table is called dfkk exc so let me enter the branch my branch is 16 and my cache disk is ivr which is 02 02 let me enter my contract account 
so this is my contract account so i can unify i mean uniquely find my payment so this is my payment it contains 42.60 and and this is for this company code and all every details are mentioned over here so the uh, fees amount also we store over here it's just for information purpose now let me go to the dashboard and let me click on the main branch and i'll double click on the ivr so under ivr i can see this payment appeared so under overview i can see we have received a payment of 42.60 now we can go to the payment section so see this is the payment details it has a status it says posted document exists and if you click on the document number you can see the document as well so this is the payment document and we have uh, customized this uh, document type iv for ivr if you go to the header details you will see a origin key which is not we generally use so generally for regular traditional payments we use 05 for payment lot 06 for payment run which is fpy1 but this one is ie external payment because this is we have called it via external proxy calls so this way you can post a payment now so we have received one payment let me quickly post another payment because for this cash test there's a concept of reconciliation now suppose on the same date this customer makes another payment under ivr itself so suppose under IVR, let me go back to my uh, web service. So under IVR itself, I am going to receive another payment My and my payment transaction ID needs to be modified. So I'm putting it as 002. And suppose we receive another payment of say 12.50. Again here I need to modify 12.50. Now everything remains the same. Only I am modifying the payment and the payment reference ID. Okay, again, click on execute. Things are fine. Go to extras and commit. Commit work triggered. Go to the table and click on the refresh button. You will see another line. So the second line of 12.50 also appears. Now go to the monitor. And you can click the refresh button over here. So here you will see individual line items and with individual document number. If you go to the overview, it will show one line with the summation. So only one line is displayed with the 55.20, which means the individual amounts of 42.70 and 12.50. If you put a summation over here, you can see the total amount. Now the functionality is whenever we receive any payment, we straight away book it into SAP. We also need to see whether the bank has received the same payment or not. Now suppose bank has received a payment of say $50. It may happen that in SAP, we received some due to some mistake, we have received a higher payment amount or we can receive a lower payment amount compared to the actual amount that is being posted to the bank. So we need to do a reconciliation. Now for reconciliation, there can be two way we can reconcile either at the end of the day, bank will send us a bank reconciliation statement. That statement may contain the entire 55.20 amount. In that case, the payment gets reconciled. Okay. Or the bank may receive an dif a different amount say 60 rupees sorry say 60 dollar or 50 dollar so in that case what will happen there will be a difference so currently if i go to my overview screen so this one is yellow okay that means it is still open now we need to close the cash desk with the actual amount so for that there is also another proxy so let me come out of the first proxy so this is a second proxy let me double click on it. Its name is cash point closing document notification underscore in. So double click on this proxy and click on execute. Execute. Close the couple of pop ups. Close. Close. Now let me get the variant. The variant is here. So let me use the latest one. Close. So this one is this payload is very small. Now click on this XML editor. So I'm going to close. 16 and branch 16 and cash desk 0 to that is IVR. So let me, so this is we are receiving for 06, 06 2022. And so we are receiving for IVR. So I need to enter the cash desk name, which is IVR. And here my branch is 16. So I'm putting it 16 and this is the date 06 06 
Now this is the closing amount. So at the end of the day, bank will send us a reconciliation statement where we can either receive the full amount or we can receive a different amount. So suppose in my example, I am receiving. So in SAP, we have received a payment of 55.20, but suppose bank sends us a payment receipt of say $52. So I'm going to enter 52.00. So that means there's a difference. Okay. And I need to enter the value date, which is 06, 06, 2022. Okay, and here cash point group reference ID I need to mention. So my group reference ID is 2022-0606. So I need to make sure that these ID matches. So my group reference ID is also same. So it is going to close this cash desk ID. So once it is, this is done, click on execute. So it is successful, then click on commit. Commit is also successful. Now go back to the monitor screen and change, see the difference. So currently the status is yellow. That is grouping key open. Now click on refresh. So you'll see the reconciliation amount appear. So currently the payment amount is 55.20, but bank has sent us a actual payment receipt of $52. So that means although in SAP we have credited a uh, bank account with Sorry, we have received, we have debited bank account with 55.20, but bank says that they have actually received $52. So this is the difference. So either bank can send us the same amount. That way, this will always be green, this status button. But I'm showing you an example where the bank has, bank is sending us a different amount. Okay, so there is a different of around 3.20. So this difference we can also uh, see here under GL account posting. So see 3.20 is a difference. Okay. Now what we need to do, we need to select this line item and there is a button called post differences. Okay. Now, once we post this difference, this is going to be a GL to GL item. There is no business partner will be involved. Uh, I'm going to click on post differences and I need to enter the external ID of payment. Bank sends us the reconciliation statement. It may send us an external ID. So using a test external ID, I'm clicking on save. Now see difference posting successful under document number this. So the difference is posted successfully. Okay. So let me open the document number quickly. So this is the document number, the difference of 3.20. So see, so both of them are GL account. These are GL lines. So there is no business partner line item. So this document we cannot see under FPL line of any particular contract account or business partner because this is GL to GL posting. Now let me go back to my dashboard and I'll go to my overview screen. So currently see my overview status becomes green because the difference has now been reconciled. That is a difference is now been posted three. Now both the payment and the reconciliation amount shows 52. So this is how we can use external cash desk. So under payment, you can see all the payments and also this document, this different document also we can see with the document number, but the business partner or contract account is blank because this uh, differential payment is not posted to a particular contract account.